Hello, I'm Anthony, and I'm going to teach you how to install a Zebra printer on your Windows machine. I don't really think it matters what OS you use. Uh, there are many tutorials out there on how to do it, and I think this is the best way to do it. Uh, it's I'm looking at my paper, and it's six steps, and that's me introducing myself. But really, five steps on installing this, and I'll probably talk a lot uh, in between steps. Because that's what I do, but to start out, you would just go to your favorite web browser, whatever it is. I use Google, and from here, just Google search. A company I found a long time ago that I still use to this day, it's called Siegel. Uh, they, I believe it's actually Siegel Scientific, yeah, SiegelScientific.com. But if you just Google Siegel drivers, S-E-A-G-U-L-L, -L, and then press enter, and then that very first result is what you want, and you go to it, click through it, open a new tab, whatever, and at the top, I'm guessing these are the more popular companies that they deal with. Um, Zebra is the one we're dealing with again. And they have an a huge list of all the different printers that they support. And we, one way or another, are going to click Zebra. You can click through or open a new tab. And then on that page, there's just a nice little download button. Click it. Good to go. You don't have to know your printer yet because that comes later. And it does it automatically for you. So now that you've downloaded it, it's either going, if you're using Chrome, it's down in the bottom left, you'll see a, the file itself, the .exe, or you can go to a Windows, or to a folder, and click on that, and quick access should have downloads as a shortcut uh, right on the left side of your window, and you can go to downloads, and then for me, it's down at the bottom, because it's, or well, it's in alphabetical order, so... And it's uh, Zebra, whatever the model or the version of the driver is at the time. You can double click right here, or you can click this. It doesn't matter. I just like to show both options. Once you click it, it will bring up a license agreement like every other piece of software ever does. And uh, you can say, um, I accept these terms of, in the license agreement, which you really don't, but you just say yes to it anyway. And then you click next. This is an installation directory. You can change it to uh, a storage drive or whatever reason you want to, but you just keep it. It's, it's 70 megs. It's not a lot. Uh, <clears throat> and that's that. Next. And on the options. On the options, uh, I just don't use the read installation instructions. No one cares because that's what I'm here for, to tell you how to do it and uh, run the driver wizard. That's the next step after we install the drivers onto the computer. And then it will have a wizard to uh, installing the actual printer settings. Well, the printer itself, I mean. And uh, we're extracting. And I ha you have to also um, accept you know, a security setting. Uh, just say yes to the user account control. And then, for me, I get a black screen while I'm recording. But. So, here's the wizard for the actual installation of the drivers in the printer itself to the computer. Uh, so, you say, install printer drivers. Click Next. And then, you'll have these different options. And right now, like, printer's off. But when your printer's plugged in and turned on, it will show this up, and what you do is you just highlight or select the uh, printer model and click Next. And then I just keep it uh, Zebra LP2844 or whatever model you have, just leave the default, who cares. And then use this printer as the default printer. I don't because I have... Another printer, I'd rather print regular letter or paper to. So 
I just don't need it like that. And uh, that's it. Next. And finish. She's done. So that's installing the drivers. Now we go on to installing, or no, I'm sorry. We just got done installing the printer. And do we want to install another printer? No. And close. So now we're done installing the printer. The last step, what we have left to do is uh, changing the printer settings so that it fits the label pretty much is all we have to do. Uh, you can change other custom settings or whatever, but... So I just go down to search, go to control panel, and uh, of course the first thing that pops up is control panel. You can either click or press enter, either way. So from here, you would click uh, devices and printers. Once that's up, you should see your printer installed in the printer's spots. And I have two because I've installed this once before and it's, it's doing some kind of funky thing there. But if it's your first time installed, you'll only see one and you'll want to see where it says status, zero documents in queue. That is how you want to see it. And from... Once you figure out which printer you need to uh, get into the properties for it, that's what we'll do is we'll right-click it, Printing Preferences, and then we'll go to Page Setup. By default, it's 4x4, four four, and I have 4x6 labels. You can also make, if it's not in the drop-down, the size label that you need to use, you can just click New, uh, name it whatever you want, put the width and the height in the way that you want it, and then click OK, and it saves it in the drop-down. You select it. But for this instance, 4x6 is what we need, and that's good to go. Click Apply, OK, and we'll go back to the printer and then say, click right-click and then go to Printer Properties. And then from here, back to the About screen. This is different than the Printing Properties. Or preferences. Uh, then we go to the general tab, and then we ha you can go to preferences from here also. But all we want to do is accomplish uh, doing a test pen print, make sure it works. And uh, you should hear of you know the label come out, and on the label you'll see the word test in the top left corner, and you'll see a border around test. And if you see the whole thing, it's good to go. And that's how you install a Zebra printer, any model. Um, thank you. And I'm also going to uh, have another video on just a really short one in tandem on eBay and printing labels directly from eBay uh, without having to do 50 clicks and cropping or using Adobe Reader or anything like that. Just, just, uh, you know, print right from the website, which will save you a lot of time. And I'll show you that in the next video I have coming up. Thank you.